at 10. Now, some of those implemented changes under this new order include loosening the restrictions on golf courses. Local 5's Aaron Taylor checked in with workers at local golf courses today to see how they're reacting to the news. Haley Haven, Andrew speaking. Phone's been ringing off the hook. People are excited. On the 24th, yes we are. Golf courses aren't able to open up quite yet, but that gives them a few days to get ready to be busy. We will definitely be, be turning away people based on, on the amount of interest that, uh, that we've gotten today. That's because although golf courses will be allowed to open, there are restrictions. You cannot uh, have golf carts. Um, we have to spread out our tea time, so there's many uh, safety guidelines that we have to follow. The new rules in mind, Wisconsin's golf courses are figuring out how to make it all work. We're going to try out 10, 15 minute intervals, see how that works. It'll be walking only. Courses will be open, but clubhouses and pro shops will not. It'll be a big transition for us because, you know, a lot of our revenue comes from uh, pro shop sales, food and beverage sales, and all that stuff's really going to be cut down at this point. Even with restrictions, they're excited to get out on the green. I mean, cooped up indoors for the last month, it's, uh, you start to go stir crazy, and, and we've, right from the get-go, We've talked about how, how golf is one of those sports where you can maintain that, that social distancing. They'll be social distancing and golfing. Opening day of, of golf season is, like I said, something that people look forward to every single year. In De Pere and Sherwood, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. Thank you, Aaron. And golfers must sign up for a tee time either over the phone or online. Contact your local golf course to find out how you can get registered.